Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to be talking about choosing a bonsai. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now today I'm going to talk about, like I said, about what bonsai you should pick. Now when you go to choose your bonsai, you will find that there are many varieties to choose from. In reality, any plant that has a trunk and branches can become a bonsai. In fact, I just got a cedar from outside and put it in a little um, planter that already has succulents in it, and I'm going to do something with that. But a lot of people choose the tropical bonsai because they are beautiful and they can be grown indoors all year round. Now tropical bonsai includes such plants as azalea, fig, uh, bougainvillea, and fuchsia. How, having a hard time saying a few of those. Through tropical bonds, uh, sorry, though tropical bonsais are popular, there are also other types that are very, that very closely resemble the fully grown outside variety. These bonsai include such trees and shrubs such as elm, birch, apple, ginkgo, and spiria. These types of plants lose their leaves in the winter when the days grow shorter. They require cooler temperatures, but above freezing in the winter. In addition, they don't need light when they don't have any leaves. When choosing a bonsai, it is important to consider where it is that you'll be growing your bonsai before deciding on what type to get. The tropical bonsai can be grown in the window as long as you keep close tabs on the temperature and it doesn't get too cold. These types of bonsai require a lot of light. If it does get too cold by the window, use a fluorescent light to keep a sub uh, for a substitute for natural sunlight. The evergreen bonsai type can be placed in a window during the winter and outdoors once the temperature is above freezing. These plants cannot be placed directly in sunlight, but must be put in a shady place so that they don't die from too much heat. Pruning your bonsai is important, as this is how you create an illusion of a mature, fully grown tree. If you're not adept at pruning and have never cared for your own bonsai, you may want to begin with the tropical azalea bonsai. They are very adaptable to trimming, and this is also helpful for you when you're just starting out with a bonsai. There are many different styles of bonsai, including the upright, the windswept bonsai, as well as the cascade and four styles of bonsai. Before deciding on which style you would like to try and grow, it's a good idea to discover as much as you can about each type and how to care for them. So that's all for today. I'll be making dozens of more videos. Make sure you check out the link above, and I'll see you in the next one.